happy Monday. Happy July, everybody. Um, lots of folks probably on vacation. Good not, for you. Not the four right. of us. We are here delivering mm -hmm. news of the day. Oh, we're, we're missing one. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's hey, right. there you go. Um, the hot spot. Which, can I say, this is a distorted view. Um, well, especially especially it's, it's, it's Look at how pointy it's, it's been, it is. It's been squeezed. Yeah. It's actually not supposed to go in this monitor, but it, it looks like it's like about and I don't a, think it's updated a, either. 120 stories or, tall. Or, or, or it's another city. Um, <laughs> or it's another city. Um, but we're in Charlotte. We'll guarantee that. But we want to know this, this morning, are you going somewhere uh, for summer travel? Mm -hmm. Do you have a summer trip plan? Let us know. Yeah, so the reason we talked about this during the show this morning is we're looking at how much folks are going to be spending to make their summer vacations happening. It all came out of this new survey, so it was from Bankrate, and it found that 53% of Americans are planning to take a summer vacation, so only about half of us. Now, of those who are planning to travel, though, one in three willing to go into debt just to foot the bill. The survey also found about 62% of us are going to pay for our summer plans using a credit card. Now, more than half of us are going to pay it all in full. That's the good part. Others, though, are going to opt for carrying that balance over multiple billing cycles, which you all know what that means, interest. And our willingness to go into debt for vacation, it might actually depend on which generation you fall in as well. So 47% of millennials said that they're willing to go into debt. You can compare that to just 22% of baby boomers. Now, everyone is leaning into summer spending, though, nearly three in 10 adults choosing to skip a vacation this year to save some money. So we took the question to y'all this morning, asking folks if they plan on taking a summer vacation this, this year. There was one person that said, hey, like inflation, yeah. lack of PTO, frankly, mm. they're keeping it at home. Another person going to another state to visit some family. And then one person says they actually take an entire week just to visit North Carolina beaches. Yeah. So hey, I'll be right there with I've you. I've actually always That's wanted to do bad. that. Yeah. A lot of beaches. I, I, it's a lot of a beaches. A lot. I mean, just the state of North Carolina, if you put the two together, North and South, right. you've got, mm -hmm. you got like six months. Yeah. <laughs> six months. So Let me are, get a six month vacation. Uh, Kim and I are actually talking that we would love to try to do that going forward because who doesn't love going to the beach? Yeah, is totally. that every year pick one beach to visit? So yeah. that's what we're doing this year. So this time we're going to go to the Crystal Coast. We haven't been there. We've been Outer yep. Banks. We've been South Probably Carolina. One of my so. favorite spots. Yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. And Larry Crystal approves. Coast. So mm. I, I think part of the problem is, and I know I blame social media for everything, but people going into debt. Uh, oh, I, I feel wow. like yes. I, I feel like it's it's not directly related, but it has a lot to do with social media because people get FOMO. Oh, absolutely. And, and I'm, I'm myself guilty of it. And, and the second I see someone's on some exotic vacation, I'm like, I want to go. That needs to be me. Why am I not? You know, and Let's so, go to Tahiti. I know, exactly. And I feel like I feel like social media has only made it 10 times worse mm -hmm. because nine times out of 10, you probably wouldn't have known that person was going on vacation. Exactly. And you certainly wouldn't have seen all their photos. So right. I, I just found out what FOMO means yesterday. Fear of missing yeah. out. Yeah. The whole time, I yeah. did not know. I was confused when people used it. I didn't want to look stupid, so I just didn't say anything. So you just drop it into that FOMO. Yeah. FOMO. It's fear of missing out. Um, <laughs> if, you, go, wow, cool. if you are traveling, though, um, experts are recommending you get there around two hours early to the airport. Um, but they give a few more tips on top of that. They say... Um, Baseline, 90 minutes before your flight. Now, if you have any other complicating issue, then you're going to add time. So if you're flying out of a major airport like Charlotte Douglas, you add 20 minutes to that. If you're taking off in the morning or late afternoon, add another 20 minutes on top of that. And if you're traveling with a pet or checking a bag, add another 30 minutes on top of that. Wow, to spend the day. So I'll say it's an hour now. <laughs> they, they, they recommend adding about 20 minutes for each of those to-do things. Uh, you have to check off your uh, box. And also, I would say... With Charlotte Douglas under construction, oh, sure. geez, I'd add was. another thirty minutes onto that too. <laughs> that, was not, that was not in the list, but right. I would sleep say there. So um, seventy-two hours early. Basically, basically, just sleep there. Um, we're not in our usual setup over at the desk because the yes. set is slightly under, under construction, so I can't pull up comments as easily as I once did. Oh, I wish. Um, well, in the but, meantime, I mean, what's like the the closest that y'all have waited to get to the airport? Like before flying out. Well, I'm back. I was saying earlier, back in the old days, literally, I, I there were times I literally, a couple flights, literally walked on the plane and they closed the door. Oh my god! Back in the day, what? they did that in the movie Home Alone. Can't do yeah, that I mean, anymore. I did, I, no more. I, I Macaulay did, Culkin would not have been Home Alone <laughs> nowadays. I did that one time, um, running. Oh, I did. Uh, I was like talking running, about running, like oh, running in a movie. That like is slow mo. Last person. That's that, that's yeah. the worst feeling. The it worst is. feeling. Um, some folks chiming in. Joy, uh, she was in Ohio um, last week. Um, John visiting Charleston over a few weekends. Always a oh, great place to go. Good job, John. Uh, Melissa says never going to debt for vacations. Mm. Agreed. Wise words. Um, yeah, so folks chiming in. Um, how about that? All right.
Folks, um, bear with us. We'll be back over there in like a week or so where we can do this a little bit easier. Maybe we'll have a bit different picture behind it. I doubt it. <laughs> we'll look at no, so. I doubt okay. it. Uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow with that same picture probably. Have a blessed day, guys. <laughs>